Hi there. We're here to talk about NitroSeal, the best in class portable nitrous analgesia delivery system available today. We are going to take you step by step and show you how to assemble and properly utilize your new NitroSeal system in your office setting. Your NitroSeal system will arrive at your location in three separate containers, each containing an essential component. The large box contains the Accutron digital flow meter, the mobile stand with a four-take manifold bracket, and accessories including a five-liter inhalation bag, bag tee, tank key and wrenching keys, a remote vacuum block, and an electrical power cord. The medium-sized box contains an initial supply of 10 units of disposable single-use NitroSeal breathing circuit and mask sets. The smallest box contains the Miniscav portable waste gas scavenger pump with its associated accessories. Unpack the largest box marked Accutron carefully, checking to see that all the equipment is included and undamaged. Remove the flow meter from its separate smaller container. Place the mobile stand upright. You are now ready to attach the flow meter to the top of the stand. To get started, remove the hook from the back of the stand using the largest Allen wrench supplied. Then use the medium Allen wrench to loosen the set screw. Tilt the stand so that the central pin disappears. Insert the post on the bottom of the flow meter into the central receptacle on the top of the stand and using the medium Allen wrench, tighten the set screw on the back of the manifold bracket until the flow meter is securely attached. Next, attach the gas supply hoses to their respective input sockets on the back of the flow meter. There are two hoses, a green one for oxygen and a blue one for nitrous oxide. Each hose has an end coupling that fits only its corresponding input socket on the flow meter to assure the correct coupling arrangement. Tighten each coupling by hand. Then use an adjustable wrench to tighten securely. Be careful not to over tighten. Next, mount the E-cylinders of fresh gas to the manifold bracket. There are four E-cylinders, two for oxygen coated with the color green and two for nitrous coated with the color blue. Near the top of each E-cylinder is a protective removable cap. Remove this cap and place the supplied washer in a small bag for possible future use. Removal of the cap exposes the cylinder connection pins, which are different for each type of gas. This assures that only the correct gas cylinder, oxygen or nitrous, can be connected at its appropriate location on the manifold bracket. Open one of the four E-cylinder locking yokes by spinning its handle counterclockwise. Then undo the Velcro straps at the bottom of the stand. Place the top of the E-cylinder into that yoke and align the input socket on the manifold with the cylinder connection pins. Affix the cylinder on the manifold by pressing the cylinder top portion against the manifold until the pins are securely placed within the manifold socket. Then tighten in place by rotating the yoke handle clockwise. Secure the Velcro strap. Repeat this process until all four E-cylinders are securely mounted to the manifold bracket. The two juxtaposed oxygen E-cylinders on one side and two juxtaposed E-cylinders of nitrous oxide on the other opposite side. Next, you will be attaching the remote vacuum block to the manifold bracket on the nitrous side. To do this, use the smallest Allen wrench to loosen the screws on the vacuum block. Once loosened, remove completely, then attach the brackets to the manifold. Place the vacuum block on the brackets and tighten the screw. When correctly installed, the vacuum block will provide a pair of space nipples pointing in a downward direction, one marked vac and the other marked mask. Next, you will insert the bag tee into its socket on the front of the flow meter. Remove the cap on the back of the bag tee and insert. 
Then you will securely place the 5 liter inhalation bag at the bottom of the bag tee. Now connect the electrical power cord to its corresponding socket on the rear panel of the flow meter. Then plug the electrical power cord into a conveniently located wall outlet receptacle. Finally, place the tank key on the mounting hook. This completes the assembly of the flow meter on its mobile stand with four mounted e-cylinders of fresh gas. The assembled unit truly is portable and can be moved easily around the procedure room. Nonetheless, individual locks are provided on the stand's caster wheels so the assembled unit can be secured in place at a desired location as needed. A critical component of your nitrous seal system is the FDA-cleared portable mini-scav nitrous waste gas evacuation scavenger pump. Use of this device, along with other features of the nitrous seal system, safely and effectively facilitates removal from the treatment room of waste gas exhaled by a patient during a procedure. The mini-scav unit comes with an electrical power cord, a PVC vent pipe assembly, and a gray-colored braided flexible exhaust hose. Connect one end of the braided exhaust hose to the exhaust nozzle on the rear panel. This is a quick connect. To release, simply press the side button and disengage. Connect the opposite free end of the braided hose to the PVC exhaust pipe after the pipe has been suitably mounted on an outside wall of the procedure room. To remove the hose, simply unscrew and release the collar by pulling it away from the wall. Attach the electrical power cord into the rear panel of the mini scab. Then plug the power cord into a wall-mounted electrical receptacle. Test the mini-scav by activating the on-off rocker switch and placing a finger over the suction nozzle. You should feel the suction. Remove your finger and listen to ensure the pump is functioning properly. Turn the power switch off. Using a standard 3 8 of an inch ID suction hose, connect the suction nozzle on the front panel of the mini-scav to the nipple-marked vac located on the remote vacuum block mounted on the flow meter stand. Now, test the suction on the nipple marked mask. The flow meter and the mini scav components are now ready for use.